Iraq is a crappy place filled with a bunch of, you know, yeah. semi-literate keep primitive buried, monkeys. Keep buried. whining from a black politician about how you don't like me because I'm black, using racism as a defense, right? You know, I catch, I catch you doing something that, well, oh, you're a racist. The, the Congressional Black Caucus exists to blame the white man for everything. And I'm happy to say that in public because it's true. But what? he knows it's true. You know, white men, have, you know, they've contributed some, I would say, like creating civilization and stuff. I think they've done a pretty, I don't know, whatever. I still can't get over, you know, Obama saying they're not going to, you know, they're going to attack me because I'm black. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that is so low to say something like that. Well, see, Tucker, here's well, the... Well, everybody, know, everybody knows that Barack Obama but, would still be in the state senate in Illinois if he were white. Hey, basketball. Tucker, uh, 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 Obama would kick your ass playing basketball. Yeah, of course he would. <laughs> he basketball, come he, on. He's black, say it. He's a real brother. Hey, do you think? Do you think? I don't he, know how do, black he is, but think, I'm sure he's a good basketball player. He says he is anyway. I've been watching. I've been watching Obama's wife. Is it Michelle? Michelle, yeah. Oh, it yeah. seems like they might. They they might have her own. So they might be whitening her a little bit. I, what do you think? I tell you what. Yesterday she got ghetto and started snapping her neck. I'm like, that's a real sister. Right no, there, she man. needs to do less of that, man. Uh, people, more people in Indiana, yeah, Pennsylvania. She's going to be a problem for him. She's got an edge to her that's bad. Yeah, I yeah, agree. People expressing their opinions in America. Yeah, she starts getting that. She starts getting that. I'm not attacking her personally. I'm just saying, as a public figure, you just get the feeling she's got a, a major right. chip on her shoulder. No, I don't. There's some really good, I mean, immigrants. I just think it's, you know, people who come to this country ought to have something to offer. Be hot, be really smart. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I need, you just need Desirable. To be, exactly. Hot or smart, and that's hot about it. Hot or smart, that's right. But people to come over and pick lettuce, I mean, I'm not saying that's an undignified, I mean, that's great, you know, and I admire people who work hard, but... On the other hand, is that are those people who are going to build, you know, a stronger country 20 years from now? How could you salvage Iraq at this point? I don't, you know, it's beyond our control. I mean, if somehow the Iraqis decided to behave like human beings or something. But I just have zero sympathy for them or their culture, a culture where people just don't use toilet paper or forks. I mean, hey, I gotta, I, I, and, I, I, and the way they treat women. You know, I, I agree with you. Their, their culture is, is, but you're in their homeland. And you're over there as an American who they hate, and they want nothing more than the Americans off of their soil. So they're yeah, not going to play the games. Second we, I mean, they can just shut the f*** up and obey, is my view. <laughs> well, it's never going to be a civilized country because no. the people aren't civilized. He'd he need to say, look, I'm a bigot, okay? I'm a bigot. I don't like Islamic extremists. Like, if you are really heavily into Islam, I really do. I, I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't care for you that much. And I don't care what that sounds like. You can call me a racist. You can come where the fuck you want. And at, and at this juncture, you could say that and not catch a lot of shit for you it. You certainly could. I'd vote for you if you said that. Basically, we need a racist president. We need to get these Mexicans out of here and the Islam. Let's kill all the Muslims. Well, I, it, we I need that. Think, I, you know, I think you're on to something. I mean, not someone yes. who's like a Klansman or anything, but someone who's totally unbound by PC rules. So we'll just say whatever the hell he wants. Our leaders demand that you shut up and accept this. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided.